happy evening how are you how was your beautiful day mine was a day of miracles and a whole lot of praying if you're with me this morning we opened up to receive a miracle today and we were we were invited in the space this morning to sit and feel as though that miracle already happened and today it was like every single moment I was just waiting for this miracle to occur, for this book to arrive at a hotel for one of our big authors. And it came in at the very last minute. It was just so magical and such a witness. The miracles are real, especially when we put our faith and hope and feel as though they've already happened. We allow them to come into our life. So today I'm celebrating this miracle came through. I want to start out with just honoring that. And we're going to be doing some journaling around your miracle. We're gonna drop into our body. So tonight, this is my channeling bowl. This is a bowl I use when I help people channel their books. And so we're gonna use it tonight. It, it felt like this was what we used tonight. So I want you to take a deep breath in. I want you to breathe out. And I want you to feel the sound move through your body. breath in all the way to your lower belly <sighs> all right so we're going to start off with the sacred creative process to get ourselves in this zone the zone of being in our bodies in listening and channeling beautiful divine messages we're going to start with picturing this beautiful light right outside the top of your head you're gonna breathe it in, and I want you to visualize it moving throughout your body. So breathe in the light, and you're gonna visualize it moving all the way down your body, cleaning out your system all the way through the soles of your feet. And you're gonna breathe the light in again. You're gonna let the light move all the way down out your toes, and it's going to leave your toes, move up and around your body, sealing it back at your toes to be an added form of protection and to infuse and insulate you with light. We're going to then call in our team. I want you to think about who do you want on your team, your spiritual team. This was something I learned from Napoleon Hill. He gathered his spiritual team in and put them as his team, what did he call them, his board of directors. So I want you to think of like, these are the people that you are inviting in to support your work. So you're gonna call in your angels, your guides, the ascended masters who've been assigned to you. I I love to call in Joan of Arc. She's a huge guide for me. Um, I love Mary Magdalene. I love working with Christ. These are the ascended masters that I love to call in. I know that feels bold and also like, why not be bold? <laughs> why not? Let's bring in the big hitters. Let's bring in the ones who are going to support you this powerful energy because you are here to change the world. You can't do it on your own. Let's call in the guides who are going to support your message. So we're going to call them all in and anyone else who's here for you and your specific message in and through the divine light to support you and your work right here, right now. <sighs> and then we're gonna ask that light will touch our ears, that we may spiritually hear what needs to be heard. The light will touch our third eyes, will have access to all of our spiritual gifts. The light will cleanse our lips, that we speak only what needs to be spoken. And I want you to take your hand to your heart and you're gonna just feel your heart. And I want you to drop in with the energy inside of your heart. And in this space, I want you to think back on your day. When did you receive a miracle today? Were there multiple miracles? I want you to witness and see them because as you see them, they actually take root in your body as seeds of faith seeds of hope for more miracles to come. It's very important that we see our miracles. So you're gonna grab your workbook. If you haven't gotten your free workbook, 
The link is in the description below this video. Grab your workbook. You're gonna write out what are the miracles that happen today. We won't be following this workbook in this session every single time, but it's a great template for you to follow on your own as well. So you wrote down your miracles. Now I want you to feel into. So tonight we're going to talk about partnering with God. <sighs> How fun is that topic? Now, this is, this is a powerful lesson I learned in my salsa dancing class. My teacher was teaching me about the power of partnership, that to be a true partner in this dance, you have to be completely in your body, in your lane, and the partner is the same. So that when you're both in your own lane, you can dance together really powerfully. Now, this is how I feel our partnership with anybody is, but we're gonna bring it here in context of working with God. So when you are so firm in who you are, and you are so firm in why you are here, what happens is you get to partner with God in such a powerful way. It's almost like having really profound boundaries with God, allowing yourself to be able to be firm in who you are and inviting God to guide you. Just like in a dance partnership, right? That there is one who's leading and guiding and the other one gets to kind of follow, but like they're both individual beings. And so I want you to think of that, that you have this beautiful dance with God, that God can lead you. And when you lean in and allow God to lead you, everything flows better. You're able to move better. You're able to, to experience this like momentum and this flow, right? This is how it works in partnership in dance. And this is how it works in partnership with God in our businesses. We can do it on our own. You can dance on your own, but there is magic when you have a partner. And when God is your partner, it's like, 100x the magic. There's just this m literal miracles that happen every time you lean in with faith and you lean in with trust and you take action on everything you're inspired to do. Well, that's when the flow and the momentum and the magic is going to show up. So tonight I want you to feel into where have you been inspired recently that you haven't taken action yet? Oh, I just heard one for me. All right. It just got put right on the altar. It got put on the table. The thing that just came to me right here, right now, I'm committing that tomorrow morning before, mm, let's see, can I do that? We've got a whole busy morning tomorrow. So I'm going to feel into when can I send these messages out that have been asking to be sent out for a bit. All right, I'm 7 a.m. Okay, here it goes. So 7 a.m. I'm doing this action that I've been inspired to do for two weeks. I haven't done it yet. And because I haven't done it, it's created some stagnation in my life. Anytime you're inspired to do something and you don't do it, it slows down your energy and it creates stagnation. So if you're ever stuck, one of the greatest questions is to go back in your heart and ask, what have I been inspired to do recently that I didn't take action on? And then if you take action, you will get out of that stagnant position. You will be in flow and momentum again. So tonight, I want you to just drop into your heart with me. Close your eyes, get into your heart and feel what is something you've been inspired to do in the recent last week or the last two weeks that you didn't take action on. It's gonna to come to you, you're gonna see it, you're gonna hear it, you're gonna feel it, you're gonna know it. As soon as you receive it, write it down in your notebook. Now if you need more time, pause the video. Now that you've written it down, you get to ask, when are you going to create it? When are you gonna set the time on your calendar to make sure this gets done? So you know, I love the palms up, heart open, heart soft, asking, when am I going to get this action complete? When is this going to happen? And just like I received mine, 7 a.m., you're gonna receive yours. You're gonna write it down, 
put it in your calendar. This is a non-negotiable. You have now committed to following through with the inspiration you received at the time that you received. This, my friend, is going to make so much magic in your life that you will want to live by this every single day. When things become easier, we know we can do it again and again. And this practice allows your business to actually become easier. So this place tonight, right here, what you committed is a non-negotiable. This is a burn the ships moment. This has to happen because you've committed here. And when you take this action, you get to watch that your partnership with God, you being inspired to do this was for your highest good. And every time you take the window between inspiration and action and you make it smaller, you tighten it so that every time you receive inspiration, you take immediate action, you will receive so much more momentum in your business and you will see way more success. How fun is this? Are you so excited? <laughs> so as we end, we're going to end this evening practice with just this excitement because something inside of you has been wanting to do it follow through with this inspiration, but there's been a, there's been a hurdle. There's been something blocking it, but that block has been cleared out with the excitement that's here in this space right here, right now. And you being a committed, the deeply committed to following through with this, that right there already woke up so much energy into your body. Now, I know you're going to sleep. So we're gonna put this all on the altar. We're gonna ask your angels that they will support you in helping you get this done tomorrow. And we're gonna drop into our heart. And I want you to feel into any area of your life that you need a solution or an answer to. You're gonna put it on the altar and you're gonna ask God to show you that answer while you're sleeping in your dreams or right when you wake up. Hmm. And that, my friend, is how we're going to end on this most miraculous day. I want you to close your eyes. I want you to visualize this beautiful golden blanket wrapping you in so much love and so much compassion and so much care that you feel so known, seen, held, and safe. <sighs> All right, my dear friend, may your evening be an evening of peace. May you rest well, and I will see you in the morning.